the cast of Fox and Friends, the truly just a... I told you the story about how I was almost booked on Fox and Friends as like a young progressive to debate uh, libertarian ideas. And I had a friend, uh, debate against libertarian ideas, and I had a friend who knew one of the producers there, and she was a media person, and she had booked me for another channel, and she, you know, recommended me to them, and they said, you know, and they're in, they they took a look at, I don't know, one of my videos or something, on one of my interviews, I think, on her channel, and they said, oh, okay, great, you know, got in touch with me, and they were doing more follow-up. And they said, yeah, we just want to, can we just check your, your YouTube channel again before we do a final sign off and we'll book a time. And then I realized that right at the time, like literally within 20 minutes of them checking my YouTube channel, we had just uploaded a video where I called Brian Kilmeade, the, perhaps the stupidest person on planet earth. <laughs> and I never heard back from Fox and friends. So now that being said, here is Brian Kilmeade, Steve Ducey. Ainsley Earnhardt and Janice Dean, four of the stupidest people on planet Earth, mourning the death of uh, serial predator Roger Ailes. There's a lot of subtext here. We're going to play that, and then Matt and I will share our own reaction to his death. I love you. We learned some sad news this morning that our former CEO, Roger Ailes, passed away this morning, and we just want to remember him. He is dead at the age of 77 years old this morning. That's right. right. And this is the statement from uh, Elizabeth Ailes. She says, I'm profoundly sad and heartbroken to my report that my husband, Roger Ailes, passed away, at the, uh, passed away this morning. Roger was a loving husband to me, to his son, Zachary, and a loyal uh, friend to many. He was also a patriot, profoundly grateful to live in a country that gave him so much opportunity to work hard, to rise, and to give back during a career that stretched over more than five decades. His work in entertainment, his work in politics, and in news affected the lives of many millions. And so even That's as true. we mourn his death, we celebrate his life. Indeed. Uh, Roger Hills helped build Fox News Channel into the powerhouse it is today. Um, Roger would tell stories during our State of the Business um, meetings that he would hold twice a year here at Fox News about how he started in the in the business. He was actually a production assistant uh, at stations in Cleveland and Philadelphia. He eventually worked his Someone's way up crying. to run the Janice Dean Douglas is bawling her eyes up. In yeah. three time. years, he went from PA really? to EP of the most successful daytime talk show maybe ever. That's he right. got the biggest guest to arrive in Ohio and do his show from Bob Hope Ro on down. Roger believed in hard work. He ran Pause four it. political campaigns. Uh, Roger Ailes, um, according to one report, uh, inserted his uh, penis in a woman's mouth and told her that she was now a whore and a servant for Roger Ailes. I guess that would be a form of uh, hard work. Go ahead. And many people out there would say that he saved this country by starting the Fox News Channel. Roger gave every single one of uh. us on this couch an opportunity. He put food on our table, and you know, he went out in such a sad way, but who doesn't have sins? We all have our sins, we all have our cross to bear, and Roger, I will love you forever. You gave me an opportunity, and I will forever, ever, ever be grateful. I know I would not have gotten this job if it weren't for you. <laughs> and I hope that you rest in peace, Roger, and I hope that you are at peace. I know that his impact on the country is, a, um, is beyond a shadow of a doubt. You think that he saw Nixon in a green room. That's right. Saw, Richard saw Nixon him, came to the Mike Douglas yeah. show. Saw him as an underdog guy. Says you got to like television. Next thing you know, he's helping Richard Nixon get elected. Didn't George he help Bush Nixon? 41. He said you got to change your your message, and he started talking to him. He said you can't hate television. It's not going away. Right. It's not a fad. Yeah. Right. Because you know what I love about this clip is that in some ways it's all true, like. Roger Ailes did make all of these people's careers because of his unbelievably documented record as like a predator, sexual harasser, and traitor of favors for access. Every time a woman says, I wouldn't be where I was without him, you always have to be like, hmm, okay, that's interesting. And yeah, he did change the country. He did. He helped elect a unhinged war criminal directly as president when he worked for Richard Nixon. And he helped coarsen the culture and spread so many lies and systematize right-wing propaganda to such a degree that now we have Donald Trump, 
who makes Richard Nixon, you know, again, you know, we have dumb, dumb Nixon. We have all of the criminal tendencies, complete inability to handle the job, but with none of the intelligence. Also, it's true that he put food on their tables. And even metaphorically, uh, Susan, 66, a former model, said that when she was 16 years old, uh, Ailes exposed his genitals to her and she described them as uh, red like raw hamburger. Oh, so. so that's absolutely grotesque. And put that on the table. And yeah, it was hard work. All right, Matt, before we go to break and get to Sarah Jones, let's get some music. Let's, that was Fox and Friends. Let's do our final Roger Ailes dancing on the grave of some hotline playing. Yeah, just I just want to wrap this up properly. We'll probably be doing this several times throughout the show. Roger Ailes. Um, Make it. You know what's great about Roger Ailes is that, again, you could say like with, with uh, Breitbart, you could say, hey, I don't know what he was like you know, in his private life. Maybe he's a great guy, but as a public figure, it's a net positive that he's not around. And we also Roger know Ailes, like- we can know for sure that actually he was horrific and disgusting in every aspect of his life. So here we go. Roger Ailes is dead. Roger Ailes is dead. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. All right. We'll be right back with Sarah Jones on The Majority. Hey, Sam Cedar here. Uh, folks, you probably heard about the whole uh, YouTube uh, advertiser apocalypse. Well, we're suffering from it, too. We need your help. If you want to keep this show alive, you want us uh, to be able to still put out uh, clips on a regular basis, head over to our Patreon page. Here's the link right here or down below there. And uh, just give us a couple bucks a month uh, and support this program. Really appreciate it. 